My name is Michael Forson. I'm the water and sanitation specialist for UNICEF Ghana. Uh, although it looks broad, water and sanitation, but my specific work now involves more with the upstream work in water and sanitation in Ghana. And uh, specifically, the issue I want to talk about is on the sector m and &E framework. That is uh, what I'm really engaging. Also, I'm the co-lead of the Development Partners Group. Yes, uh, the sector m and &E framework is something which to me is very vital and is my passion. Because uh, looking at the MDGs, it's like we have set up a goal, somewhere we want to go. But then how do we go there when we don't know where we took off from and how we are getting there? Uh, there may be strategies, but then the m and &E framework actually will tell you how you need to get there and clarify certain things about the definitions of the indicators. For example, when you talk of access and coverage, people misunderstand it. What are the data streams available in the country? How do this affect policy makers to make a decision? I always ask a question. If you have one minute with the president, what will you tell the president about water? that the president will focus on. Without the necessary facts, you can't see anything. So this is where the sector m and &E is very necessary because this is where we are going to pull all the pieces together to tell us where exactly we are, clarify the definitions, the whole myth in the sector about coverage, data bases and all those things. We try to pull it together. Yeah. And this m and &E will also affect the various planning levels. Based on this, we should be able to come up with something specific that will influence budgetary allocations. Yeah. Because without this, how can we convince the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning to give us enough budget to be able to achieve the MDG goals. So this is a passion which I believe a lot have brought into it now. Yeah. That we are working together to really harmonize the whole M and E system, get concrete database and then plan well to see where we are in Ghana and how we can achieve the targets in the MDG. Okay. I, I think this is one area you've been you've been working on for some time now. Where is Ghana at the moment? Uh, Ghana at the moment I can say we have achieved the targets for water. But for sanitation, we are somewhere around 11%. That is for uh, the household latrines. But then for, in terms of uh, shared latrines, when we add it, we are a bit high, about 60%. But then the issue is how shared is the shed? And where exactly are they located? So these are the challenges comparing to other countries. Other countries I know count the shell trends, but Ghana don't count it. Okay. So this is where we need to really go. And then also the two data streams. If you look at the provider-based data stream from Community Water, that one actually puts Ghana at a lower level. But when you look at the uh, user-based data stream from the statistical service, it put Ghana high up. So these are the data streams that the sector m and &E framework will harmonize mm -hmm. and we will be able to know what the type of data stream is used for what purpose. Yes. When is the framework supposed to be in place? The framework we are identifying all existing databases, then we look at information flow. From what so, uh, sources do we pick information? How do we package the information? What are the information needs at the various level? At the policy level, at the technical people at the higher level, at the district level, at the regional level. Then we package this thing to make sense. For example, at the uh, policy level, they may not be needing the parameters of hydrogeological data and borehole depth and all those things, but then they may need certain key things. So the m and &E framework will look at the information needs at the various levels and package it to make sense. Thank you very much, Mr. Carson.